guys, welcome back. Today we're making this super buttery, creamy mashed potato recipe with homemade gravy. If y'all want to see this, keep on watching. Also subscribe if you are new here. Thumbs up if you enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, quickly, I'm going to show you guys what you need to make this super easy, creamy mashed potato recipe. I'll be using butter, some russet potato, about three of them, medium size. Also, you will need some heavy cream to make it nice and creamy. Also, I'll be adding some ground black pepper with Himalayan salt. You know, there's flavor to this salt. That's why we're using it. Also, you will need some garlic and rosemary. I know the garlic is not showing there, but you will need some garlic if you like your mashed potatoes kind of garlicky. And also, I'll be using chicken broth to boil the potato, yes, for more flavor. All right, let's jump right in. Let me show you guys how I make it. Now, I'm going to start by peeling all of my potatoes. I will say three medium-sized rosette potatoes is the measurement for this recipe. And if you guys enjoy this recipe, don't forget to thumbs it up for me, guys. Help me out like it if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button now and also press on the bell so you can be notified whenever i upload a banger a delicious recipe okay Once you're done peeling all of your potatoes, you're going to cut them. Now I like to cut all of my potatoes the same size because that way they will cook at the same time. So I'm going to cut them straight in the middle and then cut them once more. Next, I am going to wash them. I like to wash them twice just to remove the starch from the potatoes. Then we're going to start boiling it. To boil the potatoes, I am going to pour my chicken broth in there. There's so much flavor and I didn't need any salt, so I didn't add salt to it because the chicken broth already has salt. Let it boil once it's nice and tender, something like this, y'all see? It's nice and tender. For some reason, the potato I'm using today, they're so yellow. I don't know if because I had them for a while. In a saucepan, I am going to add my heavy cream with the rosemary sprigs and three garlic cloves. I cut them in the middle so I can get the garlicky flavor out of them. And also guys, you can add some thyme to this as well. It will add so much flavor to your mashed potatoes. Um, this is it, basically let it simmer for about three to five minutes until you infuse all of the flavor from the rosemary then we're going to start mashing those. Now you can use a hand mixer or you can use a mashed potato masher. It depends on how you like your potatoes, especially the consistency. I like it nice and creamy and smooth. So that's what I'm going for. I'm using a hand mixer to mix it and I'm adding the cream in there as well. Now you can eyeball it to see if you need more cream. I use one cup of cr cream, but I didn't use all of it. So I will say about half a cup. And next I am going to add the butter and also the seasoning guys. Mm. The salt that I'm using is Himalayan salt. You can use garlic salt to make this nice and garlicky if that's the way you like your mashed potatoes to give it that garlicky flavor. And you're going to keep mixing it until there's no lumps in there. Make sure it's smooth. That's how I like it, nice and creamy and smooth. 
and basically that is the recipe i hope you guys try this out for thanksgiving let me know how do you like your mashed potatoes down below in the description box you like it creamy lumpy how do you like it chunky let me know all right to make my gravy i am going to melt two tablespoons of butter in my saucepan here once that is nice and melted i am going in with the flour i'm using all-purpose flour for this recipe about three tablespoons we're going to add the flour gradually and as you adding the flour make sure you keep on stirring the butter with the flour because you do not want any lumps this require a lot of stirring okay so keep on adding the flour in the butter and keep on stirring Now that we added the flour, we're going to cook the flour. This process should take about one to two minutes. All right, just keep on stirring it as you um, cooking it. It's gonna give you like a nice, beautiful golden brown color just like that. Then we're going to add the broth. Now you can use turkey broth, homemade turkey broth or chicken broth. But as you adding your broth and make sure you keep on stirring it because that will prevent you from getting any lumps on the gravy. Just keep on stirring it as you go, just like that very fast. And yeah guys, um, you can make this with turkey broth like i said especially after you're done cooking your turkey you can use that leftover broth and pour it in there mm, it's going to taste so good y'all now we're going to season the gravy i'm adding my double u sauce as well as the other seasoning which is um what is it ground black pepper onion powder and also creole seasoning just add that in there and let me tell you it tastes so good y'all you guys have to taste this gravy to see how good it tastes it's about um half a teaspoon of each it tastes so good of course you can add more broth if you want it to be a little bit less thick because as this sit it'll get thicker so this is what it looks like it's basically done and it's so good so tasty and when you combine this with your homemade creamy mashed potato oh my god it is the best it's a winner y'all all you need is your turkey on the side and you're good to go hopefully you guys try this i do have a turkey recipe i will leave it in the link below check it out thank you for watching happy thanksgiving i will see you guys on my next one. Bye guys.